The town of Trail, British Columbia, with a population of approximately 7,000, rests quietly 125 miles north of Spokane, Washington. It's a bit off the beaten path, but for at least one of Trail's natives, there was a road south to the United States, to Stillwater, Oklahoma, and eventually to the podium at the Olympic Games. Tonight, that road takes another turn with the induction of Trail's Lauren Bay into the OSU Athletics Hall of Honor. The former cowgirl softball pitcher blazed a unique career path. From a high school that didn't play softball, she went on to become and remain OSU's all-time strikeout queen. She was an All-Big 12 player and an All-American. Eventually, Lauren Bay became a three-time member of the Canadian Olympic team. When I think about what made Lauren an elite level pitcher, it would be that her desire to be good at everything that she does. It wasn't just like uh, pitching per se. It was like you put a task in front of Lauren and she was going to compete and want to be really great at it. Lauren's perseverance paid off. Her cowgirl career displayed one very simple trait, constant and consistent improvement. As a freshman, her earned run average was a very, very respectable 1.88. As a senior, it was 0.82. As a freshman, she struck out 196 hitters. As a senior, she struck out 451. That total was and continues to be a school single season record, 21 years after her final game as a cowgirl. In fact, the second best single season strikeout total in school history is 314. That record was set by Lauren Bay during her junior season. Cowgirl softball is a tradition-rich program with pitchers participating for nine Olympic teams over the years. It makes earning a place in OSU history a tall task, but Lauren Bay remains OSU's most dominant pitcher in the career strikeout category with 1,151. Well, pitching-wise, she's clearly in the top three at OSU. In fact, I would even put her among the top five in OSU history as far as just being a softball player. I think that sticks out the most about Lauren that separates her from other pitchers is just her like athleticism. Nobody would bunt when she was pitching because she was going to take over that area. You know, it wasn't like, a, she, in, that, in that time, it wasn't the norm for pitchers to be ultra athletic. Um, so that's what really made her stand out was just like she hit, she ran, she, fielded her position really well. Lauren's name is still all over the OSU record books, documenting one of the great careers in cowgirl history. She was a four-time all-conference selection and a three-time member of the Big 12 all-academic team. When the Big 12 announced its 10-year anniversary team, Lauren was a member. At Oklahoma State, she tossed three no-hitters, including perfect games against Tulsa and South Florida. As a senior, opponents hit just 120 against her, and she earned Big 12 Player of the Year honors. Sometimes her performances left onlookers in awe. It was her senior year, and we played Kansas down here at Cowgirl Stadium, and she struck out 23 batters, which was unbelievable. It was almost like a video game. I think there were like 10 of the kids had two strikeouts against her. And not only that, but the game goes into 11 innings and she gets the game winning RBI in the bottom of the 11th. So she was able to do everything, to whatever it took to win. I didn't know when it was gonna happen as far as really clicking where she was great. I don't know the numbers, it's a little foggy for me, but I know she was pretty spectacular uh, in those final two years. But I don't really remember a certain moment. I just remember that how she approached every task was um, very special and I knew that she was gonna get where she wanted to go. For most athletes in any sport, their college career is a culmination of a lifetime of training, workouts, and competition. For Lauren Bay, there was a very special second act. First, it was in the pro ranks, where she went 17-1 with the Chicago Bandits. She shared League Pitcher of the Year honors with teammate Jenny Finch. Then, it was the Olympics. She represented Team Canada at the 2004 Games in Athens, and once again in Beijing in 2008. She won five games on the mound for the Canadians with a 124 earned run average in those two Olympiads. Incredibly, 12 years later in Tokyo, Lauren Bay was an Olympian once again. In the 2020 games, played in 2021, she picked up a victory on the mound and was a member of Canada's bronze medal winning team. 
Her appearances on three Olympic teams ties her for second most in OSU history by an athlete in any sport. Our world was softball when we were there at Oklahoma State. So like uh, our conversations, everything that we did revolved around getting better and improving our program, improving us, uh, improving us as individuals, like softball players. We were always talking the game, talking about trying to get better and improving our team overall. I mean, Lauren is the most humble, down to earth person you're ever gonna meet. You wouldn't know that she was on the Olympics. In fact, she probably wouldn't tell you unless you asked her about it. Um, but she's just a genuinely good person. You know, she came from a tiny town in Canada. I'm not even sure how the coaches found her, but uh, she had that you know, upbringing where she was always positive with everybody. She always had a smile on her face. Um, she's just truly one of the good people around. There are many ways to describe Lauren Bay. Hardworking, Olympic medalist, All-American, successful professional. Tonight, we can add to the accolades by calling her a member of the OSU Athletics Hall of Honor.